What's up guys? Bearded here. I'm bringing you a new episode, episode, a new series of a game that I just got. And it is not Square Enix, that's a company. It is not that either. But it is. Life is strange. Now I hope that's it's not too loud. To me it's a little bit loud, but screen size. It looks okay. Um save game one. I'm just gonna change the audio a tiny bit. Subtitles, yes. That seems good, I think. Back again. Yeah, this is, this is the first episode, I don't know how many... It's first episode in the game, but I don't know how many episodes I will be making of this. So, new game. And we are starting. It's a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Oh, oh jeez. Pretty stormy. Are we sleeping? I don't know if we're sleeping or if we're passed out. Where am I? What's happening? That's what I'm asking. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? That's a good question. Looks like we're... Yep, I'm in control now. Damn, this is sketchy. Lighthouse, yep, we go this way. Can you run at all? Yep, shift is a little faster. Jesus, it's a tornado. I am moving the camera. It's a frickin' tornado. What does this say? Blackwell Academy 1910? This looks like a map of some sorts. Oh, we better get inside. Oh, a tree fell there. I suppose we have to go over here. Yep, there we go. Holy shit, indeed. Holy. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. What kind of a dream was that? But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted next. by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Hey, what? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, 
Look at this crap. Okay. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a... something. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. <laughs> Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? Oh, I see now. Look, take, take selfie. At the height Look. I do love my analog camera. She had I should take a quick picture now. So she could have taken another approach. Um. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. I don't want to get in trouble if I take a picture, though. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Okay, so... It's an actual We've thing. We've okay. that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. I love photography. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... I did know? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very oh, good, Victoria. Face. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely I haven't been kept up with my journal as much as I should. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cole. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Holy God, that's a lot of reading. Um, page 8 of 8. Oh, God. Well, it's story time, guys. Okay, July 10th, 2013. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance... Wait. Yeah, if words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. A unique and famous private private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't use to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of bliss or blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried, and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're, but they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, if I, yeah, if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. August 18th, 2013. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest. Back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe... is it Chloe? Yeah, Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. 
I heart Seattle. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. I know French. <laughs> now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It, it won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. Oh dear. It's, it's a deer, or I should say it's a buck, with a monocle and a mustache. Nice. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be uh, the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th, 2013. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to... What? I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Wow, that's a complicated sentence. <sighs> mom, and, mom and dad are getting a little too excited I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught my mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl. I never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes. Then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign 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 exchange artist artiste from Paris or Rome. Is that artiste or artist? Whatever. I can do anything unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different. Wait. <laughs> I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Go you. That's me. No, it's not. September 2nd, 2013, 12.07 AM. This one's specific. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew. Er, wheel, Whatever. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room. Which is small, but mine. And I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a, a whole wall of photos. I didn't... I didn't. I, I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names so I wouldn't bother right now but I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd, 2013. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and... Wait, I lost a spot. Um... Damn, there we go. I'm no good with names and faces right now, but I picked up some names like... Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. Wait, that's... Okay, that's not the full name, I think. It's just four different people. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't f wait. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the Wambulance. I don't I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least wait 
I keep losing my spot. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but... Wait. There's more to tell, but journal. Forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. And there's a couple stamps there. September 4th. I have, I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. Okay. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't he doesn't try to wait. He doesn't try to be too hip. Just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth the social dysfunction. Uh, September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to, I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The pre, the Prescotts, 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 give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet up on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here. <laughs> like Victoria who... Th like Victoria... Wait... Like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Almost done. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures. Uh, when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell and of course I'm scared. Uh, of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can't tell she's co I I can tell she's committed and passionate about life unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now how much homework are you avoiding? Last one. October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate 
Kate Let Me Borrow the Oct er, Kate Let Me Borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Battle Royale, isn't that Arma 3? Anyways, the last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Mingling. I don't know. That, it's that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party. Or is that backstroke fest? Haha. <laughs> You so punny, Max. So I'm, I'm assuming she is Max. I think I get that now. She is Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a, on a loop, you have all the time in the world. There's a little Polaroid. Um, so I guess we're done here? What's this? Oh my god, we have to read this really? <sighs> my name is Max, or my, my, name, my name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't, I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. Hello, my name is Max. On a scholarship, on, oh, on a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever. At least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. Say cheese, I heart Seattle. There's a next? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, I can actually relate quite a bit to her because I myself love photography. and. I may not do it all the time, but I can take some pretty good shots, and I am also 18 now, so I don't know, we're kind of cool, besides the fact that I'm male and she's female, but anyways. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved this deco and goth style and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's he's pretty hip for his age, but kind of a but kinda aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile while he thinks he's right. But but I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full time artist. He, he acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a, fo a photo in this everyday hero contest, but I've done a good job in avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. I've forgotten if I've... Wait, I've forgotten if I've ever seen Cade Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort. What was that sound? Sounds like thunder. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to a tea or a movie. True love waits. 
Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Holy crap. Shush, I'm dreaming. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. I hate saying that, so do I. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18, 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show con contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does no art and photography. She can even say all those French names and break my tongue. So can I. <laughs> Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. That's weird. She keeps his... She, er, she. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Hero Contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha. And we're back to her. So, th these are the different episodes, I'm guessing? This is interesting. What's this? Huh. Dad, have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't, don't blow it all at once. How do I go back? Oh. I'd like to have that kind of gift. Oh, it goes up, does it? Okay. Hey, Max, you around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get a tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. I'm sorry if this whole episode was pretty well all reading, but it kind of gives you more detail and more understanding on the game, and also it puts me deeper into the game. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us XO. Warren. Make sure you check out Neck Romantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait. Oh my god. I missed a bunch. Uh, did you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. That was at 1.14. Please, 1.14 again. The next day at 5.42. Make sure you check out... Oh, I already read that. Then the one after that was two days later at 3.06, and she's just not answering him. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> it's the first time I've heard someone say that. Um, don't ignore this message. She obviously did. And it's 307. So let's go back. Go back. Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Just give him the photo, because, like, seriously? What's this? Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is starting in a photo soon. You see the delivery? I don't know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shop, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event. Kiss my ass. You have just by participating. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, 
Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Now that's a true friend. Printer. Look. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I keep turning the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Well, I am going to stop here because it's been a little over a half hour, and that's because of all the reading. Next episode, there shouldn't be much reading. It should be more uh, action stuff to do. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Oh, excuse me, I just got dessert. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.